Oh, hi, gozaimasu. What's poppin' boys? Today we have one simple trick to boost your FPS in League of Legends Season 12 2022. Enjoy. Alrighty, so as I said, today I'm going to show you one simple trick to increase your performance, decrease lag, and increase overall smoothness of the game. The reason I'm making this video is because I've watched a decent amount of FPS guides in League and I haven't seen people mention this at all. And that was pretty surprising because in my opinion, it is really important on low-end PCs. And this is overall what this channel is about, pushing old PCs to run games that people are still playing nowadays. Games that are being constantly updated and so on. Anyway, if you have an older PC, this short guide is definitely for you. And as a bonus, I will also give you guys the best in-game settings for League of Legends, including some short Windows tweaks that will work on both Windows 10 and 11 and even 7 in some cases. Now let's go ahead and get to the desktop and do this. Alright, so here we are on the desktop. First things first, what you want to do is open League of Legends. Once the launcher opened, you want to log in, obviously, and the launcher will start. Uh, once again, I haven't seen many people cover this at all. That's exactly why I want to cover it. It's actually about the launcher itself. It does does take quite a bit of RAM to run this launcher in the background, which is the default settings. It's not a lot of RAM for the PCs that have 16 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of RAM, but for the people that have 8 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs of RAM, there are people like that, unfortunately. They will probably have something like Spotify in the background or Discord and all of that combined, it's going to be terrible. So the way you can fix that, the way you can make this game run a lot smoother is by clicking on this cogwheel right here. And on general right here, you'll see enable low spec mode. So you want to make sure you you have that enabled because as you can see here it says enabling this will reduce visual fidelity in certain areas of the client but may significantly improve performance we recommend enabling this option if you're experiencing stuttering or lag when using the client so this is purely for the client and i'd suggest having it on just in case and also this is the most important option in my opinion if you do not have a lot of ram which a lot of low end pcs do not have close client during the game usually by the default uh, it's going to be on never so the client will run in the background as you're in the game and uh, that's how it is going to be you can even close the client while you're in the game if you guys notice that or not i don't know but you can pretty much do that and nothing will happen so never will be the default option what you want to do is go on always as it says here this client will close automatically during the games this will help provide an optimized client experience and also optimized in-game experience as you will notice so you want to put it in always window size make sure to put it on the lowest your gpu won't have to work as hard depending on what gpu you have it's not a huge price to pay the only thing that uh, this will do close client during the game option is uh, make your client uh, run again when the game is done so it's going to launch itself and it's going to be a bit laggy but your in-game performance will be a lot better you want to click on done and let's go ahead and jump into the practice tool and uh, check out the in-game setting all right so here we are in the game what we want to do pretty much is uh press escape and we'll go to the video settings here we'll have our resolution now what you want to do with resolution is usually you want to keep it on 1080p league is a pretty old game it's not going to impact you that much unless you have a very bad gpu so this is mostly the gpu stuff um if you have a pretty old gpu you want to decrease your resolution definitely to either 1280 by 1024 or the lowest the one i was using when i had my old pc which uh i had three years ago i believe is 1024 by 768 don't worry in the beginning you'll get used to it um it's pretty rough but you do get used to it if you uh scale the interface settings correctly make it really small and then it's gonna be all right make sure your window mode is full screen it is the most optimized mode and if you put it on borderless uh, you won't be able to change your resolution so full screen it's the smoothest experience you can have pretty much make sure screen shake is disabled uh, hide eye candy make sure to have this box check color blind mode doesn't matter uh, we want to scroll down to graphics character quality low environment quality very low effects quality very low shadow quality off frame rate cap depends on your monitor really so if you have 144 hertz screen which i don't think you do since you have problems with uh, your fps you want to put it on 200 let's say but most of you will have 60 hertz so you want to go with 80 or 120 the reason i'm saying most of you is because if you're watching this video you probably have problems with fps so i assume that if you had 144 hertz you were getting more than 144 fps so you want to cap it to uh 80 if you have a 60 hertz screen so yeah, after that, we want to make sure anti-aliasing is unchecked. Make sure this is unchecked and same for waiting for vertical sync. 
Both of these unchecked, very important. If you scroll down in accessibility, you have nothing here. Nothing of this will change your FPS in the slightest. And you want to press OK. Now we'll get back to the desktop again. And I'm going to show you the bonus that I promised in the beginning of this video, which is how to optimize your Windows to run League the best that it can. After that, I'm pretty much just going to show you the gameplay of how our League will run and how the game will look like after all these changes. So yeah, finally, the tips you can use to boost your FPS in League first. Further, right click on the taskbar, go to task manager and make sure to close everything that you do not need while playing the game. For example, an internet browser, op.gg extension, steam and so on. After that, you want to click on file explorer, right click on your PC properties. You're going to click on advanced system settings, performance on settings here, and make sure to copy these settings over here. Next step, click on your windows button, go to settings, update and security. Make sure your windows is updated. Of course, while it's checking for updates, you want to go to windows security, device security, click on core isolation details and make sure memory integrity is off. Last but not least, we want to update our graphics card drivers. I have an Nvidia. So all I have to do is go to my GeForce experience, click on drivers, check for updates and make sure to download the first available driver and finally the gameplay i won't talk at all i'll let you guys see the gameplay of our new settings the gameplay you see right now on the screen is full hd 1080p all on max without v-sync and anti-aliasing so keep that in mind also since i'm turning off my mic just want to quickly thank you guys for watching this video i hope it helped you out if it didn't please write in your specs down below in the comment section and i'll see what i can do enjoy the gameplay and peace out